All right, what is up you guys? Welcome back into another video. This video, we're gonna be installing a diodynamic slide bar onto my stripper roof rack. So let's get into it. Oh brother, this guy stinks! All right guys, so as I stated in the video, we're gonna be installing um, a diodynamics 42 inch light bar. Um, this is pretty much what we have for now. I am missing some components. Um, we're not gonna be wiring it ourselves today, but we are gonna mount it to save some time whenever we have the stuff mounted. This is Enrique over here again. Um, but yeah, before we get into this video, I wanna show you guys a little something that happened to Tacoma over the last trip. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, we did get some minor, minor trail damage on the truck. Um, I scraped over here on my truck. I actually ended up putting some uh, painter tape over it. It might be a little hard to see on camera, but there is um, some scrape over here. And then I'm also um, kind of uh, curb rash my wheel on a rock. So it's nothing too bad, you know it happens, but it's just something kind of funny that happened over the weekend. Um, I do think it's important to upgrade your lighting for the not only the night, um, but I did notice when you're uh, behind people, it is kind of hard to see with all the uh, dust and stuff. Um, I know my friend Jason has Diodynamics, and I got another friend that's got a 4Runner that doesn't have anything. He just has the stock ones, and they're kind of hard to see with all the dust to go through. So I do want to get a chase light to put on the back. Um, it's amber, so you can make sure it cuts through the dust a lot better through the dust. And um, yeah, like I, like I said, this is going to be the light bar we're going to throw on today. You are going to need Sherpa um, brackets from them. So I'll go ahead and add that um, on the description. This is the light bar I went with. I went with the um, amber combo setup. I do have an aux beam switch panel that um, I wanted to add on more lights later on. So it's gonna make it a lot cleaner. And then, uh, well not a lot cleaner, it's gonna be a lot easier to just mount everything at once. It's gonna make it easier to wire. Um, I do have the universal wire hider from KC. And then I did have this panel sent to me for my buddy Austin on his Instagram is at K9 talk, uh, Tacoma. So I'll go ahead and put that on the description. That's K9 Tacoma. So pretty much what that is, it's going to mount your aux beam um, in this little cubby right here. And then you're going to replace that with your OEM stuff right here. So we go into the cab. And this is going to be replaced with your aux beam switch panel so it's 3d printed it looks oem um but yeah shout out to austin for giving me that for free so yeah make sure you give him a follow make sure you give enrique a follow too uh, enrique ended up just buying a water too so give him a little update give him a little li life update Boss, i don't have any life update Boss. we just got a sa 200 black face got it off facebook easy uh easy picked up uh I say easy pick it up. Well, easy. It was a good deal, but and then it came with the trailer and everything in this little toolbox. I got a couple things in there already, but we got more to do. We're gonna have some, maybe have some fab going on in the channel, guys. With Enrique, um, he's a pretty good welder. But um, yeah, guys, today we're just gonna mount this uh, stage series light bar onto my truck. We're not gonna wire anything up because. Um, Number one, I suck pretty bad at wiring, I'm not even gonna lie. And number two, I'm still missing a uh, harness and I'm missing a tray that I wanna put the switch panel on, the oxygen switch panel. Um, so I don't wanna lay this on top of the fuse box. Some people do that. So I'm gonna, I ordered a tray, um, it hasn't came in yet. But um, yeah, it's just something that's gonna look a lot cleaner and a lot more easier. And um, I know if you drill it onto the tray for the fuse panel, you're gonna have to uh, put some stuff on it so it's waterproof and I don't wanna take my chances with that. So with that being said, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this uh, unboxing slash install. Um, yeah, you guys, this is my first time opening this, so we're gonna check it out. Um, also remember guys, uh, I am a Diodynamics ambassador, so make sure you use code TRDRZ to do free shipping on the entire um, Diodynamics website. Um, but yeah, just save yourself some, some money on shipping, and that's gonna be for whatever um, you order. So, say you ordered a hundred of these, um, it's gonna be free shipping regardless. But yeah, use my code. I'm gonna use it down below in the description again as well. Uh, you're gonna open this, guys. You're gonna have some uh, stuff over here. I believe this is your bolts. So we'll open 
that up. And that's indeed your bolts and you're gonna have your bracket from Dow Dynamics. Uh, we're not gonna use any of this. Um, we're actually just gonna use two bolts and then we're gonna use what's provided with the Sherpa. All right guys, so there you guys have it. There is the light bar. Um, to my knowledge, we don't need any of this stuff. Um, we're only going to be using these two bolts right here. This one and this one. Um, and then from Sherpa, it comes with your two brackets and it's gonna have some nuts, um, sorry, some bolts, some uh, washers, and the spacer you put in between the rail. All right guys, so there's gonna be a T-slot up top. Um, well, you're just gonna wanna use this right here to uh, slide it in the T-slot and then use your uh, washer and your uh, bolt. But it's super simple. Um, the bracket's gonna be sticking out this way. So we're just gonna go ahead and mock that on together. All right, guys, so um, after that, it's just these two bolts that you're gonna wanna tighten with the 11 millimeter. Um, and then it's this bolt right here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the plastic so you guys can kinda see more. Um, so I'm gonna leave it like this. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much where we got, where we want it for today. Um, I'm not gonna tighten it um, too hard because I'm sure it's gonna be adjusted whenever we get everything wired up. I am gonna have my buddy Tyler from Queen City Overland um, do all the wiring for me because, um, like I said, they're not the best at wiring stuff. So, yeah, guys, this is what it's looking like so far. All right, guys, welcome back. It's been about two to three weeks since I did part one of this video. I've just been really busy, and as you can see, um, it's about to rain here shortly. The weather just hasn't been wanting to cooperate, but we did run into some issues with the Oxbeam switch panel. Uh, nothing to do with the switch panel itself. It's just I bought a used open box. Well, it wasn't used. I got an open box, um, open box off Amazon, and it turned out to be defective. So I went ahead and ordered. Um, I had to buy a new one. So there's a new one. I'll discuss how that works here shortly, but I just want to give you guys an update. Um, I do have two things, or I do have one thing that I do want to talk about um, regarding the KC wire hider. So I'll discuss that here in a bit as well, but I'll show you guys how um, we got everything wired up. So here is my switch panel. Um, do not mind this wire right here. The one that we had wasn't long enough. And um, it was really late, so we just worked with what we had. Um, ideally, I want to have this wrap around right here and just come over here so you can't see it. But everything is functional and everything works. Um, I'll show you guys my switch panel. I got this mounting bracket off of Amazon as well, pretty cheap, um, but it works perfect for what I need it to do. Right now it is a tight fit right here with the fuse box. Um, I did make another hole right here so I can um, mount this a little higher up but unfortunately I, I'm gonna have to trim this to make it work so I'll show you what I mean here in a second so I'm gonna pop this out um, so you want this section exposed right here so you can feed your wires in to connect to the panel um, so I ideally I made a hole over here so I can ideally just slide this over so I have more space for the actual fuse box in case I need to um, get into it but um, I didn't realize that, that if I pull this whole panel up, it's gonna block these holes. So, um, like I said, for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, I can still access my fuse box, um, but it is a little tight fit. So I'm just gonna put that back and I'm gonna show you guys um, the switch panel itself. So this is how I have it set up now. I have it wired so I can have it on at all times because um, I wanna run the lights when the truck is off but I'm probably gonna tap into something else so it's um, ignition based so pretty much um, I'm gonna have to turn the truck on to have this running. So for now I'm just gonna leave it on at all times. So I'm just gonna click this button and that's the uh, one that I have to activate my lights. They're super bright. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a video how it looks at night here in a little bit when the sun goes down hopefully. but. That's how that works, and then I'll show you guys on the phone as well, because I got the Bluetooth model. All right, now, so now that I have my Bluetooth on, um, I can change to whatever color I'd like. There's the brightness. Let's see if it'll pick up. 
So you can see how it's just adjusting to whatever color I'd like. And then I can just click this right here, which is what I have to activate my light bar and it cuts on. So off, on, off, on. Oh, there we go. So it's really um, cool. And um, I don't know, it's really easy to work with as well. Uh, but for now, that's just something that I have to leave. Um, I do want to tap into the fuse panel in here so I can, um, I'm just afraid it's going to drain my battery, but uh, the research that I've done, I should be fine, but I just don't want to take my chances with that. And something I also want to bring up is the KC wire hider comes with uh, a 3M strip that's really bad. So we installed the light strip and within a day or two, it actually was about to come off. So this is what it's um, this is what it's given with the KC wire hider, but this is really crappy adhesive uh, double sided tape. Um, I don't recommend using this, guys. I recommend I have some of these laying around the house um, that I used previously. So this one is actually the exact same width of the wire hider. So everything right here, I can see the seam that it's created with this. Um, this is a lot better, and like I said, it's the exact same width that you need. Um, so I ended up using this and it's been on the truck for about three weeks and that thing is rock solid um, I've seen a lot of guys complain about this wire hider because it um, Like it strips off and it comes off easily But honestly, you just switch to this right here guys and it's not gonna go anywhere uh, As far as for as far as the wiring goes, um, it's super tucked. I uh, Do have these right now? Um, tugging the or er, holding the wire itself for the light bar for now i did order some clips from sherpa that allows you to uh, hide your wires so i don't have this showing like that with the zip ties on the roof rack um but you know for now it works fine um i'm just waiting on that to come in but i also want to order some more lights uh, so i'm probably just going to wait till i have everything to just zip tie it once um yeah there's where the wire goes and then what the wire is actually just going through here and it's actually inside this wire hider kit. But um, yeah, it was a super easy install. Um, I mean, at least for my part, I know Tyler did most of the work, but I did have to take all of this off again. And um, especially the switch panel, that was super easy as well. But I did actually crack um, my panel right here, trying to take it off. So can't really tell from far away, but you go up close to it and it's actually cracked but you know you live and you learn guys um i really really like how everything came out and it looks oem apart from this wire that i gotta get another one so it looks a little better but everything went down pretty smoothly after that and like i said i got these uh lights going and i just i really like how it looks oem also one very important thing i forgot to mention is in part one of the video we actually installed the light bar um upside down I don't know if you guys caught it, but on the first half of the video, we had the wire coming out this way, which is wrong. Um, I didn't really take a note of it till a couple, couple hours. A couple hours later, I kept looking at it. It didn't make any sense. So the wire is actually supposed to come out of here, guys. Um, so it's tucked in right there. That's when it starts. We had it the other way, but we flipped it. It was a super easy thing to do. Um, honestly, guys, this install for the... Um, Light bar itself didn't take but like 10 minutes, five minutes actually, if I, didn't, if I wasn't recording. But just something to note that the wire cable does have to start on that side. And I mean, it just makes sense when you think about it. So you can run your wire there with your harness and then have the, have the actual connector towards the middle. So it's not big and bulky over here. Um, just a little helpful tip is to uh, get a aux beam switch panel so your wiring is a lot more cleaner and a lot more easier to do. Really, that's also the main point why I got switch panel is because I want to add more lights to the truck and I really suck at wiring. And honestly, with the switch panel, you just splice your little ends of your negative and positive and you just tap into whatever um, auxiliary number you want to do. So, like I said, for now, I do have just this one. I believe it's number four, uh, but see that one's three, that one's two. So you just tap into whatever number accordingly it is on the actual fuse for the fuse box for the switch panel. And then everything is, um, you know, just nice and easy to do. Um, but yeah, one of the biggest tips, like I said, you are going to need this if you buy the KC wire hider. 
um, it's gonna be a nine day difference. Cause like I'm telling you guys, that thing literally was falling off the first day we put her on. So it's going on week three and it's still nice and strong. Um, so yeah, it's really about the only thing that um, it's really important. And also just make sure your aux beam works properly before you have everything on the truck. Um, we set everything and I noticed that the Bluetooth wasn't working. So kind of set us back a little bit, but you know, stuff happens. But yeah guys. That's what the truck looks like. Um, shout out to Enrique, shout out to Tyler, and shout out to Austin. Um, I'll put their Instagrams down below so you guys can check them out. But yeah, huge shout out to Austin again for helping me out with the aux beam uh, switch panel base. Um, it looks really good and it looks OEM. So I'm really glad and I'm really happy how everything came out. But I'll probably show you guys of I'll probably show you guys a video of what the um, actual light bar looks like at night. Um, I did order the floodlights and like when I was thinking about it, I should have just got the driving lights on the end instead of the combo. I am going to have some more lights. Um, I want to have some ditch lights and I'm probably going to do floodlights on those. So they're going to be pointing out. So it really doesn't make any sense to buy a combo light if I'm going to have some floodlights over here. But I know Diode Dynamics does sell uh, just the lens. So I'm probably just going to replace the lens. Um, cause honestly this, this, uh, headlight, this light bar is super bright so it just makes sense to have one driving light and then you know one flood light um, as opposed to getting a combo because then you're not going to get the best performance even though this light bar is really great um, it's just something that I didn't think of but yeah that's pretty much it um, if you guys are interested in the light bar head over to Dow Dynamics and use my code TRDRXZ for free shipping um, so yeah guys make sure to use that to your advantage and um, I'm going to give you guys a video um, when it gets dark and how this uh, light bar performs. I may or may not have ordered a V2 grill for the Tacoma and as basic as uh, I am, I um, may or may have not bought the Raptor lights to go with that. So I'm probably gonna do a video on that whenever that comes here. But um, yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys uh, stick around for more of the Tacoma build. As promised, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of how the light bar looks at night. I'm currently running my SS3 fog lights, which is really the only thing I use at night. I don't use my headlights, um, even though they're great. For Morimoto, I, I just like the way the DRL looks um, with the amber fog lights. So this is super bright setup for you. Um, if you want to upgrade your stock head, your stock fog lights, um, this is a great option. I already did an install on it. I'll link it down below. But we're gonna go ahead and flick the slide bar on. Like I said, right now, I'm just using the SS3 um, fog light um, but yeah I'm about to flick the slide bar on and we'll show you the difference so it is very 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 bright um, as you can tell it is bright but uh, well, at least I can tell uh, the video is probably not going to give it justice um, as well, how good it is a real person in real life um, it's super clear up front but since I do have a combo um, it kind of disperses off to the side so you have great coverage going left and right um, I do have it on at night because um, I do live in North Carolina, out in the country, so they are deer um, across the fields. I'm going through a field right now, um, and I did hit a deer um, within a couple weeks, two, three weeks of getting my truck. So this is going to help with that. Um, when I flick these on, I do see them, um, so I drive cautiously at night, um, but this is also going to help in the trails. But um, yeah, guys, this is a really good setup for... Um, I guess any beginner just, just wants to get their lighting upgraded. Um, it's not super, super pricey, but um, I mean, it is worth it in my opinion, even though you pay around 600 bucks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description below and you can use my code TRDRXZ for free shipping. Um, that's again, TRDRXZ. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, uh, make sure to drop a like and um, I'll go ahead and update you guys more on the taco. Uh, just let me know if you guys want to see more trips. Um, I want to start doing more fishing trips again if you guys are interested in that as well. Um, yeah, just hopefully you guys enjoy the video and make sure to drop a like, comment um, on what you guys want to see done to the taco and see you guys in the next one.